If you're having problems getting your SQL Server database to connect, you hit connect and it doesn't connect, it throws an error. A couple things you want to check are the location of your database. Use this drop down for your server name to see if there's some other instance that you've created that is trying to reference. Make sure you're referencing the correct one. You can browse here to go to the location of where your database is located. You can see I can expand database engine and that is the one I want to use. And if that's correct, if that's the one you, if you see multiple instances, make sure you're selecting the right one. You might also see if you've somehow selected SQL Server authentication instead of Windows authentication if you're just doing this in a test environment. Another place you can connect is make sure that your SQL Server service is running. So you can go whichever platform you're using, go to your where your services are located and then locate the SQL Server service, sorry, and then make sure that your service has been started. If not, restart the service, make sure it's set to automatic. We'll go down here to Microsoft SQL and we will locate our service. We want to make sure it is, of course, running. So if we scroll down here to SQL, there's SQL Server Express. As you can see, my service is running. You can expand the descriptions of these if you need so you can read what this service does. This provides the storage processing and control access of the data. So I want to make sure that that has been started. So you should see something similar to what I have pulled up for you. Those are the two big things to check to make sure that you can connect. If if you see it dis disconnected or it's not running, just restart the process or s stop and start the service and then try again. Just as an add-in, one last place to check to make sure your server name setup is correct is to go into your SQL Server Configuration Manager. To do that, just go down to your Start menu, go to all of your apps, scroll down until you find your SQL Server. You can see we have two instances here. And as you look here, you can see that I'm not seeing the configuration. There's the configuration there, so I can click on that. Of course, I want to be able to allow this app. Now, when that opens up, I can now look to make sure that my server name situation has been configured correctly. Here in our configuration manager, if we click on SQL Server Services, you can see that we are indeed using SQL Express on this one and that this is another place where I can see that, oh, my service is running. The location, you can see MSS SQL, SQL Ser Express is up and running. So everything should be running. Make sure to check these locations when you are having any difficulties connecting to your SQL server. So make sure that the service is running, that you have the correct path to be able to connect to your database and then connect and you should have no issues. Thank you everyone.